let's liven things up a little. Here are five fun decluttering games that you can play for fast results. Let's go. Hi guys, it's Laura and I help you live a simpler, happier, more spacious life. And I'm really excited for this one because decluttering can sometimes be a slog. It can be tiring, it can take a long time, you can get bogged down in decision fatigue, second guessing yourself and trying to get others on board. Let's lighten the mood so it's not quite so serious, but you can still get serious results. This one only takes naps, seriously. Honestly, I aspire to be more like her. <laughs> this first one is going to be an eye opener, particularly if you play it with other members of your household. It is hide the item. You pick one small space, like a bookcase, a drawer, a cupboard or something, and somebody hides. Like somebody takes out one item, hides it away, the others have to guess what that is. And if they don't, that thing gets decluttered. Here's why this is so fun. Clutter blindness is a real thing. We hold on to things for so many years that we start to overlook them. They melt into the background, they become a part of the fixtures and fittings. And Marie Kondo in her KonMari method talks about taking everything out, even sometimes tapping things to wake them up, holding each item in your hands. The whole idea is to actually force you to interact with and engage with your items instead of just glancing at books on a bookshelf where it's very easy to either consciously or subconsciously skip over some, actually holding it in your hands forces you to face it and do something with it, make a decision on it. The downside though, and studies have shown this, is that when we touch an item, when we hold it, it increases our possessiveness over that item. We start to feel attached to it. Essentially the physical bond almost creates an emotional bond. It is much easier to let go of something that you're not already holding. So the hiding game is a great way to open your eyes to the things that you might think that you want, but really you wouldn't even notice if they completely disappeared one day. This next one is just pure funsies. <laughs> it's a great one to play with your kids, but it's especially helpful if you find that you have stalled on your decluttering journey, or if you're not sure what to get rid of next, or maybe you're questioning whether something is truly meaningful to you. It can also help you spot what is a priority for other people. Stuff that they've been hanging on to for a while that they really, when it gets right down to it, don't want. This is how you're going to spot those things. It is the zombie apocalypse game. Okay, there are hordes of zombies heading for your house. They're coming through your front door. You have to hightail it out the back door. What are you saving? It's kind of similar to the if your house were on fire question, but with this one, you have a little bit more time. You can take a few more things. Zombies are slow. We all know that, but they're also relentless and they are destructive. So you can make up a rule whereby, for example, you can make three trips and on those three trips out of your house, you can take whatever you can physically carry. So what are you taking with you first? What's definitely coming out of the house? And what are you taking in the next wave and then the third wave? But also, what are you willing to sacrifice? What are you going to throw at the zombies to further slow them down? Bonus points if you choose certain items to build a barricade. So for instance, you could decide that for every five items that you are willing to let go of to build your barricade, that will buy you one extra trip where you can carry out more things. Obviously you can make up your own rules and the same is true for all of these games. Look, it's just for fun. It's just for a little bit of excitement, a bit of silliness. You don't rigidly have to stick to it, but it's a harmless way of having some fun and maybe even doing some decluttering along the way. So in the zombie apocalypse, what are you and what are other members of your household taking with you and what are you willing to sacrifice for the sake of keeping your brains in your skull? Next one then is the box method. I really need to come up with a better name for that. But this is something I do when a particular space has driven me to the brink of despair, usually the kitchen. When it's just so cluttered that I can't see a way out, I feel very overwhelmed, I don't know where to start, I just want it all gone. I grab a box and I fill it with everything in that space that shouldn't be there. Great way to get a quick 
clean slate and then I slowly pick through the box in the days and weeks that follow. Here's why this is so effective and so fun. It's because number one, you get a quick win and who doesn't want a quick decluttering win, but also you get the results first. You get the thing that motivates you first and then you're more willing to go on and do the work. As humans, we are much more likely to work hard to keep or maintain something than we are to get something that we don't currently have. And again, there have been plenty of studies that have proven this. It is so much harder to give up something once you already have it than it is to let go of something that you don't yet have. You don't have it, so you don't miss it. Another reason it's great is because you're giving yourself subconsciously time to process any decisions. You know, when you're put on the spot, you're going through a decluttering session, it can be difficult to make a decision. You pick up something, maybe you haven't seen it in a while, you haven't considered it in a while, and all of a sudden you're forcing yourself to make this decision of whether it is staying or whether it's going. And more often than not, you're going to decide to keep it because in the moment you figure it's better to do that than to run the risk of regretting it if you donate it. You don't want to make a rash decision so you keep it because that's just easier. Whereas when you put it in the box, you then have time to think it over and to process it before you actually come back and go through all of that stuff. To make it extra exciting then, you could combine this with the hide the item game. So you clear out a space, you put everything in the box and you only take things out of that box if you and or the other members of your household can specifically name something in that box. If something doesn't get named, it gets decluttered. Now the expert level of this, not for the faint of heart, but that is the minimalists packing party where you box up literally everything in your home and you only take things out as and when you want and need them. Anything left in the boxes after a certain period of time has passed, that's getting decluttered. Again, expert level. <laughs> Cass over at Clutterbug has a great game. If you're not familiar with her, I'm sure you are though. I will link her below. Also link the minimalists. It's a really great one for when you're incredibly frustrated. It is trash bag therapy. Such a fun one, but essentially you grab a trash bag, you go throughout your home and you throw stuff into it that does not belong there or that you do not want. It's another great way to get a quick win and this can be done like randomly throughout your home, but because it's a container, like there are constraints on it, it's much more likely that you're going to do it because you only have to fill one bag. It's not something that's going to drag out indefinitely. You don't have to worry about making decisions about where something is going to go or how you're going to donate it or recycle it or get rid of it. You just put things in the bag for now. That's it. You don't have to worry about tidying spaces, organizing spaces, cleaning up after yourself. Just in the bag it goes. No agonizing over things, no second guessing yourself and no just moving things around, making piles particularly fun if you want to do a rage purge you just like fed up you are done you want to burn it onto the ground and start again but you're worried that you might make a decision that you will later regret trash bag therapy throw all of the stuff in the bag don't worry about getting rid of it or anything for now and see how you feel you can also make it a competition between family and friends to see who can declutter the most loser buys lunch or Loser is the one who has to do the charity shop drop off. Why is it that we declutter and then the stuff just sits there for so long because we can't be bothered actually bringing it anywhere? So this one's a double win because you actually declutter stuff and get it out. I do not like the thought of anyone getting the better of me. When I had a personal trainer like way back in the day, he would sometimes mention this other female client that he had. Now, he was doing it to try and encourage me to sign up for weightlifting competitions because she was doing them. He was training her. He wanted to know if I was interested. I was not. But did I get my arse to the gym multiple times a week so that I could outlift that girl? You bet your rock hard glutes I did. <laughs> A little healthy competition can be a good thing. I was strong as a horse back then. <laughs> so if you know you have a lot to declutter or if you have a space that you've been putting off decluttering, maybe your garage, set a little challenge with someone else to see who can declutter the most. And this could be in terms of number of items. It could be by weight. It could be by like bulk volume. You could even do it against the clock. There is nothing like a little challenge with somebody else. Like I said, a little healthy competition to get you 
you moving. Here's a bonus one for you, something that I found surprisingly effective. It's the 100 item declutter. Now I know it sounds like a lot, but let me show you how I broke it down to the point where I was actually offended at how easy it was to get rid of stuff. Click right here and until then, Gurev Milamagov. Okay, Svekimishiv Shiglua. Slon!